I hope you're having a good day. Today's video is going to start with me a little bare face. So I'm just warning you right now, brace yourself because I actually have my makeup bag over here and I have basically put everything in my makeup bag on my face as I take you through it. So I'm going to get started and show you everything in here. This is my primer of choice as of late and this is the Kiehl's Micro Blur Skin Perfector and I take a tiny little bit of that and like dot it around my face and then work it into the skin. And I just find it leaves such a nice finish on the skin. Hands up if you know how obsessed I am with this foundation at the moment. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I've been raving about this for the past couple of months and I'm just going to use the Sigma F80 brush which is like the flawless face brush to buff that in. I love this brush and I love this foundation. I'm just so happy with the combination at the moment. I find the finish is really nice and light coverage but it's also quite glowy but not sweaty glowy at the same time. Guys if you don't have this brush you literally need to get on it because it literally, I've said literally like twice but it just makes applying foundation so easy. I always take my foundation down here a little bit too because you know you don't want to be one of those gals with the line. Next in here is eye things I think I'm going to move on to and I always get questions from you guys what your favourite drugstore eye primer is and mine is the L'Oreal Magic Decrease. I find this is a really good dupe for the Urban Decay Primer Potion so I like dot that on my lids and then just apply it with my fingers and I really like the kind of doe for applicator because I think it makes it much easier than a squeezy tube. I'm having a moment with this right now. This is the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. Oh my gosh, look at that. Just look at it. Let's just take a moment. Oh, it's just so pretty, I can't. And it's also really thin, which I like because I can fit it in my like on-the-go makeup bag. Guys, Too Faced Eyeshadows and I, we just understand each other. Just look at the shades in here. Like, would you not use one of these shades? Like, they are all gorgeous. Before I get on to the shades, I'm going to use this, my little post-it note trick. I don't know why, I just do this every day. It is weird how many of these I go through and how obsessed I am with them. Okay, so I'm going to take a MAC 217 and the shade Honey Pot which is the really nice golden colour. I do need to tap off the excess a bit with these and then just sweep that all over the lid. Oh, that is gorgeous. I'm going to use the nude shade here and uh, I love the mix of like matte and shimmers in this palette and I'm just going to sweep that around the kind of outer edges to make sure everything is nice and gradient like. Can you take me seriously while I'm talking to you with these sticky notes on my eyes? Probably not. Then I'm going to take the shade Sexpresso, okay, which is like the dark brown matte over here and I'm just going to put that in my crease a little bit. This shade blends really nicely with the shimmers as well. I find they all blend really nicely together but this shade especially. Just going to blend that together with the shade Cashmere Bunny. I love the names of these, they're really funny. I think I might add a little bit more brown up in here and I'm going to use the Chocolate Martini shade which is the little brown shimmer one just in my crease some more and blend that again with Cashmere Bunny. I'm going to look for a little eyeliner right now. I feel like I could use one. I actually have three in here and they're all from Urban Decay because Urban Decay just do the best eyeliners ever. I have the shade Perversion. I also have the shade Smoke which is more of a matte grey and then I also have that ink for eyes. I think I'm going to start with that ink for eyes and do a little feline flick sort of situation because I find these sticky notes make that quite easy. The other day my boyfriend was like to me, those lines on the corner of your eyes, they're really cool. <laughs> those lines on the corner of your eyes, like hashtag shit my boyfriend says. Actually speaking of shit my boyfriend says, the other day he goes, you know what? Your hair is so nice and frizzy. And I was like, that's not a compliment. I think he meant it as a compliment, but it just, I don't know. Is that a compliment to you guys? What do you think? I didn't feel complimented. I was just like, um, okay, thanks. I mean, it was raining that day, so my hair was looking a bit like rain kept, you know, when it goes a bit like rainy. That eyeliner is now done. What do you think chances are that I can get this one to be the same? This is a matte black eyeliner. This is Perversion by Urban Decay and I'm just going to get that all up in my top lash line and you'll see even without mascara or like curling my lashes how much thicker and fuller my lashes look. It's really cool. 
I find if you close your eyes, it's much easier. Can you see the difference in these two eyes now? This one is the one that I've like lined the upper lash line and my lashes look a bit more like thick and black even though there's nothing on my lashes at the moment and these ones are in desperate need of a bit of liner. And I like these Urban Decay ones because they don't transfer onto your bottom lash line and they kind of stay up there. Get my little eyelash curlers, these are the Japanese ones, and give my lashes a good curl. I did stay out quite late last night Night, so I am in desperate need of some lash curling. I'm just going to remove my little sticky notes now and you can see there's quite a harsh line where you remove the sticky note but I just take whatever's left over on my MAC 217 and just like blend out the edges. Time for mascara. I don't even remember what mascara I have in here. Oh I have the Max Factor Clump Defy which I use all the time. It's just a really good all-rounder. Along with loving the True Match foundation I'm also carrying around with me the True Match concealer which I recently picked up and I love this stuff. Everything from like the applicator to the finish of it to the colour, I'm just obsessed and I am slathering that on in a major, major way right now. I'm seriously, I'm not joking guys, I had a really late night last night and I'm not looking fresh. Best concealer brush ever, the Pro Airbrush brush from Sephora and I just buff that in with this, bringing it upwards. And I also find that my like corner of my eyes like by my nose gets a bit blue sometimes so I bring the concealer up in here to counteract that blueness. Up in here, up in here. Oh my god my singing is awful. I'm gonna put on a second layer because this stuff is quite buildable and it doesn't go blotchy either and did I mention I didn't sleep last night? Buffing that in, buffing that in. I love this brush. Guys, I'm having a real brush moment at the moment. I'm just loving all these brushes. If you had to have like three desert island products, what would they be? My number one would definitely be concealer. Now that is done, I'm just gonna do the other side. This stuff is so like light and creamy, but still has quite good coverage to it. So I literally just apply as much as I need, which is a lot right now. Just gonna do it around my nostrils as well, they get a bit red. I do have quite a Rudolph nose at times, as you probably saw at the beginning of this video. By the way, when I say Rudolph, I mean like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, get it, get it. Oh, funny. You know what, I'm just gonna put everything in this bag on my face today. That is how this video is gonna go down. I am using the Real Techniques Multitask Brush and the Dream Wonder Powder from Maybelline, which I am obsessed with, and I'm just gonna dab that in. I've been reaching for this like over every other powder I own, even like my holy grail Chanel powder. As soon as you put it on you can just see that it's like blurred over all your pores and everything. It's so cool. Oh my god, I've been dying to show you guys this. This is the new Clarins Summer Bronzing Compact. Oh no, this is the old one. Where's the new one? Oh, here it is. Okay, this is the story behind these two. They brought out this one last summer. I was beyond obsessed with it, I thought it was the best thing ever, but it was limited edition so I kind of stopped talking about it because I felt really bad, but they have brought it back out and it is so darn beautiful and also one of my favourite bronzers in the whole world because it's quite peachy and it's also quite cool toned as well. I'm going to apply this with a large angled contour from Sigma and you can just see how nice it is. Just around my little hairline over here around my cheeks, around my jawline. Look at that, this is like the healthy side of my face right now, like the bronzer side and this is like the dead side. I love this bronzer so much and I find that it never like fades or goes patchy or uneven, like I'll get home at the end of a long sweaty day. Not that I sweat every day but like if it's hot and uh, this still looks amazing. There's also another cool thing in here I want to show you, this is the NARS contour palette and I am using the shade Paloma and I'm just going to show you this to contour my cheekbones because I really, really like this contour shade. I'm just going to sweep that here, give me a little bit more definition. What do you think? It's really nice, isn't it? The highlighter in here isn't my favourite. It's nice for the daytime because it's nice and matte. For the evening, I do like a bit more shimmer. So I'm just going to sweep this highlighter over here. It is really, really subtle. So if you're thinking like you don't like shimmer or kind of like sheeny highlighters on your face, this would definitely be the one. I'm using this Suku liquid eyebrow pen today and it's actually in the shade Moss Green, which sounds kind of funny, but on dark kind of like almost black eyebrows like mine, it works really, really nicely. Can you see what I mean? It just fills in all the gaps, but you can't really tell that it's there, which I quite like because it looks really natural. 
gonna add a little bit of blush that I just found buried in here and this is the Jordana Coral Sandy Beach blush which I really think is so cute and pretty can't go wrong with a peachy pink blush. Do you know what, how many other lip products are in here, okay? Let's count. Actually, not that many, but quite a lot for me. <laughs> I have a lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury, a Kiko lipstick, a Revlon lip crayon, a Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick and a Maybelline Color Elixir. I'm gonna start with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner because it is so good. I kind of put that all over my lips sometimes because I really like the colour of it too. Oh, decisions, decisions. I might go for the Revlon Colour Burst stick first. That was, that was a tough choice. This is in the shade Demure and it's quite nice and glossy, which I really like. I think I need some bottom lashes as well. This is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. Mine's almost out. I know it's kind of funny to pay for a mascara just for your bottom lashes, but I thought that only because I hadn't tried this and seen how awesome it was. This makes like bottom lashes really easy and they still look really natural and like they don't cake together and the formula of this is awesome. If you have like oily eyelids, this won't budge on you. I think I might be a bit naughty and put on another lip product. This is the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in Melted Peony. That is now everything in my makeup bag on my face. I really hope you enjoyed this video and having a nosy around my makeup bag and seeing how all these kind of like new launches and different products I haven't talked about apply on my face. Be sure to subscribe for more videos from me as well as check out the information box because I've linked all the products there below as well as all my like social media like Instagram and Twitter and my website for daily beauty and lifestyle updates. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye. So I'm back from Dallas and if you've seen my vlog, you'll know that there was one day and there was no other way to describe my mood that day than feeling very spendy. So this is a really big collective haul.